Hi, I'm Tim Carroll, and uh, we're talking about Lambda, uh, and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the menus and walk through the setup of a preset. So the all of the signal routing and any of the post-processing functions can be set up in a pretty straightforward manner. I would recommend having uh, uh, the copy of the manual that comes with the unit uh, because it, it will walk you through and show screenshots depicting what we're going to look at during the video. But if you get lost, it's easy enough to go back. And like anything, remember, you're not going to break anything by, by changing something. Uh, so starting from the, the top menu, again, you can get to that by uh, continuously hitting the, the left button on the navigation cluster. We'll start with uh, uh, going to the right here and going through the menus down to statistics and Lambda setup down to view. It sort of points you in the right direction. Uh, so it's going to start with presets. The current preset right now is SDI 5.1 plus 2 plus 5.1 plus 2. So that means that the uh, input signal is physically uh, delivered by SDI and it's separated into four programs. A 5.1 channel program, program one, program two is a two channel, program three is another 5.1 channel, and program four uh, is a two channel. Uh, so then if we go to the next level, if you wanted to change this, by the way, you can rotate through all of the available presets, but we will stick with the one that it was at. And you'll notice that if we make a change, an asterisk is put to the left side of uh, anything that you changed. If you want to save that change, hit the right arrow or the right key on the unit. Just like with every linear acoustic product, that's like an enter key. But we haven't really made any change. We'll just go down to the next level. Right now, it's saying that the type of signal is PCM, so it's non-encoded audio, and it's being delivered by the SDI connection. Now it shows channel mapping, so the first pair of of audio channels are being assigned to program one. Uh, since it's a 5.1 channel program, program one is broken into left front, right front, center and subwoofer, left surround, right surround. Program two, which is stereo, is uh, capital L, capital R, so it's stereo left, right. Uh, if we keep going down, program three is, again, it's the second 5.1 channel program. So there's a program three left front, right front, program three center and subwoofer, or center and LFE, uh, program three left surround, right surround, and program four is another stereo, so that is uh, capital L, capital R for stereo left, right. The next setting is if you want to apply things. So applying dial norm means that if the metadata is present, so incoming metadata either by 485 or vertical ancillary inside of SDI, the metadata parameter called dial norm will be extracted and applied as an attenuator to the audio. So we're, we're actually not going to apply that. So if you don't want to apply it, just hit down. This is, you can select this for each of the different programs. Uh, again, because this is 5.1 plus 2 plus 5.1 plus 2, it's four programs. So you'll see this is program two, program three, and program four, and program five, six, seven, and eight, evidently. Uh, this is the uh, settings for Dolby Digital decoding. If this program was decoding a Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus uh, bitstream, there are uh, certain metadata parameters that can be applied here as well. So you'll notice that line mode, that's a, a type of dynamic range compression, plus dial norm will be applied. By default, they're not applied. But if you want to monitor the audio that way, you can select it. If you, if you don't, uh, just go down to the next one, and you're back to the name of the preset. You can change the name. This is one of the factory stored presets. Um, you can name it whatever you'd like, whatever makes sense to you. And note that the first four presets, so user preset one through four, are mapped directly to the front panel keys. So if you want to recall any of these presets directly and easily, you push the preset button and then 
uh, whichever of the four presets you want to recall. You can recall any of the presets by using the right navigation cluster, and we'll get into that uh, in a future video.